Even when I used to work out all the time? When I used to work out? Yeah, when I used to work out. I remember protein powder? Yeah, I used to have it. When I used to work out, I used to take protein powders. I myself, I jerk off at least twice a day. Wow. Once in the morning, right after I work out, and then once right after lunch. Quick blurb. First, big up Snort Hogan again. Thank you. Second, I have not pre-watched this, and I cannot wait for the excuses. Let's go. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Hogan. Oh, drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Yo. Um. So I think I've covered everything at this point. So you guys know the deal. I'm someone who makes a living out of stream contributions, not off of sponsorships, partnerships, and the like. I don't have any paid promotions, no product codes to enter in to get a discount and give me a kickback. It's all about me making content and you guys liking it so much that you support it. We know, Phil, you're the equivalent of a busker who makes no money playing your song, and when someone tells you, hey, no one is digging the song you're playing, you lash out at them, call them a troll, and then play the same song. We know the whole spiel, dude. Move on. Please consider supporting the stream today. Ways that you can support? Becoming a member, gifting memberships, super chats or super stickers, or tips. Currently, I'd like to hit $50 of tips on this stream. That's always my goal uh, when I do a, 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 any kind of a stream on YouTube. And sometimes we hit it and sometimes we don't. It's great what we do. It helps a lot. I'm making a mental note and replaying the gifted membership part because I have a sneaking suspicion a contradiction is in the forecast. So let's hear that again. Ways that you could support? Becoming a member? Gifting memberships? Okay, so he did say it. Moving on. Um, it'd be great if we can get around maybe like anywhere from 8 to 10 members today. Uh, would help boost you know the channel a bit. Okay? Boost the channel. DSP, less than what, two weeks, maybe three? You had less than 700 members? Now you have 1,100? What do these memberships boost? Your own dents have called you out on this shit before. There is no reaching the peak of Dent Subs Mountain. You just part the clouds to reveal more mountain. What does boosting the channel mean? Speaking of that, I think it's time to now get to the subject at hand that everyone wants to know about, right? Let's do it. Let's just get, let's talk about it, because finally I have my definitive answer of what's been going on this last week and a half with these member bombs, all right? So let's review what I'm talking about so you get the full story now in one section. I'm sure OP Boone will timestamp this video with AI, and this will be the start of the story of the member bomb nonsense that's been going on because I finally got all the answers. Why do I have all the answers? Because people can't keep their mouths shut. Why do you think they want to keep their mouths shut? Part of making fun of the guy is telling people how you managed to make the guy think he was getting money and then watch you panic or lash out in rage when you realize you've been had. It's fuck with the villain of the story 101, Phil. It gets a laugh every time. Seriously, most of the time when these kind of things happen, if people just kept their mouths shut, no one would ever figure them out. But people can't help it. They just gotta brag. They gotta go, you know, stroke their e penis on forums somewhere. You know, the big assy code coming out of their crotch and stuff. Assy? Does he mean the encoding language ASCII? Well, we've got grandeur, processes, and plural. Add assy to the mix. And better to stroke their e dicks on a forum than their real dicks on a stream, bud. They can't resist. And so because of that, all this stuff finally comes to light. And now, the reason I'm telling this story is twofold. Number one, I do want you guys to know what's really going on. But number two, I feel like this is a cautionary tale for anyone right now who's making content on YouTube. It might actually affect other sites as well. But right now, I'm only aware of this being something going on on YouTube. Okay? So allow me to explain. <clears throat> if he doesn't equate this to a sandwich shop, I'm going to be very upset. Last week, on the 7th of January... I received 200 gifted memberships from someone named Nikita. This is someone who I'd never spoken with before, had no idea who they were, no one had any idea who they were, but it was four bombs of 50 memberships, counting totaling 200 that day, and everyone was stoked because it went, they got divvied out. People actually received them, and they were using their, their emotes, and they had the tags and badges and everything, and everyone was super excited for this. Like, wow, this is neat. This seems like a really good time to bring out this video. This video was recorded, according to DSP Gaming, about a year ago. Well, allow me to explain. Gifted memberships are important for two different reasons, actually. The first is, there are people who want to help, not just me, but the community at large. They like coming here and chilling with a certain group of people every day, especially for certain games and the like. 
uh, you know, different games may bring in different groups. And they say, hey, you know, I want to do something nice. Let's do, do a nice celebration today. Let's gift a bunch of memberships or a bunch of subs that used to be over on uh, Twitch. So gifted memberships are important because they want to do something nice to the community or for those that don't have memberships. So item one mentions nothing about money to DSP. And two? Number two, and this one I actually feel is more important, is that when someone has a gifted subscription on Twitch or a gifted membership, say, here on YouTube, it's essentially what you would consider a trial run, right? Think about when you get a free trial of any, any product out there or a free trial of a subscription to a magazine or a music service or even Netflix or something like that. And reason two is because it's like a trial run. Oh, okay, I can get down with that. It's nice if someone wants to let other people be members and create a community, and it's important because if someone likes the features, they may elect to stay and pay out of their own pocket. Okay, let's return to the present. Obviously, I was happy. I love it when my community gets rewarded like that, you know? It's one thing if I get a contribution, because that directly helps me in the business, but when the community also makes out, that's really cool, and I knew with all these new playthroughs coming up that people were going to enjoy having access to the emotes and the badges and everything. You were going to have a great time with it, right? So it made me feel great. Oh, wow. Feeling of community and, you know, support and growth. This all sounds great. Community gets uh, emotes and shit. People have a reason to log on. Might drive traffic to your page. I don't understand. When's the other shoe dropping here, Phil? The next day, January 8th, I receive another member bomb of 200 members from the same person. Now, I just want you to think about this. My memberships in the United States cost $3.99 each. You're, you're just gonna rip the mask right off, aren't you, Phil? You're gonna say the only reason this is bad is because you don't get money, aren't you? Oh, please, sweet baby Jesus, say it. So this person, buying 400 members in two days, essentially just spent think about how much money they just spent you know what i'm saying i know what you were saying you don't have to keep asking that's a lot of money i mean that's ridiculous amount of money that they just spent right and you gotta wonder hmm is it really legit did they just spend over one thousand dollars to support this channel and the community Wait, wait, wait. I thought the reason gifted memberships were so important were because of one, building a community, and two, giving a free trial. Why does supporting the channel matter all of a sudden? You always gotta ask, because it's a difference between if it's someone you know, if it's someone who's a regular in the chat, and they've been here for years, and they're a long-standing fan, and they say, I just want to help out everyone. Here we go. Then I would immediately trust it. But as you guys know, I've been through the ringer over the years. I've seen so many different ways of trolling, chargebacks, crimes committed against me in attempts to try to fuck with me and my business and my livelihood. All justifiably so, you absolute scamming piece of shit, but go on. Actually, no, I have to comment on it here. Every time he does the gout tea grab, as if to act, big emphasis on the word act, like he's thinking, I cringe so hard. It is really bad. And so whenever I see something like this, right, I tend to be very skeptical. Now, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth, right? But at the same time, you got to wonder. So basically, after a couple of days, I started looking at my YouTube revenue, and no revenue seemed to be recorded for those 400 gifted memberships. Wow, what a waste. The poor children. Seriously, though, Phil is telling a story as a painting. First this, then this, which caused that, which ultimately led to. And do you remember how I said blah, blah, blah? Get to the point, Phil. You looked at the revenue. It wasn't there. You called YouTube, and then you went on Kiwi Farms. There. Can I get 20 minutes back now? My last video talked about conversational narcissists, and when I learned about that, I realized, holy hell, this is something I do. But even my dumbass can recognize, bud, you're taking too long. And it'd be forgivable if this rarely happened, but he does this all the time. To which I'm like, now I'm skeptical. I'm like, how could I have gotten 400 memberships, but no real increase in income? Which is literally all that matters to Phil. Those two days. It doesn't seem to make sense, right? And some people were starting to say things like, Oh, well, maybe what it was, was these people were, were under, from another country, like Nikita, whoever Nikita is. Maybe Nikita is from another country, and in their country, 
memberships cost something different. So maybe you did get paid, but you got paid less than what you would have thought. So instead of making, you know, if it's a $4 membership, I would have made like two fifty a membership, but maybe not. Maybe in their country it's way cheaper. So maybe you made like a dollar a membership instead. Can you confirm that? And I looked, no, I didn't even get that. Like I didn't get $400 for 400 memberships. Like, no, there's like nothing there, right? So I'm like, it definitely, that can't be it either. So what could it be, right? So a couple days pass. It hits January 10th, okay? And on January 10th, I get gifted another 100 memberships, this time from someone whose name is Duty. Aw, oh, Phil, you know exactly who Duty Streams is. And I don't know if it was Duty that did this or not, but the best way to know if Phil knows him, if he makes a scat joke next, he actually doesn't know who Duty Streams is. If he gets indignant, he knows exactly who he is and what he does. Now, at this point, I'm skeptical. I'm like, I, since those first 400 memberships didn't, didn't seem to count for anything, could these be real? So I go and check this person's YouTube channel, all right? And their YouTube channel has existed since 2021, so it's not a new, like, dummy account, but they definitely changed the name. The name was something different previous. I couldn't tell what it was, but you could tell they had just changed the name to say Duty. Now, here's the thing. As you know, one of my detractors' names is Duty or Duty Streams or something. I mean, what a big-brained fucking person to name themselves Duty. Well, color me surprised. He confirms he knows who Duty Streams is, and he starts leading into what could be a scat joke. It's like a twofer. I mean, you're a real fucking genius, right? You can name yourself anything on the planet, and you name yourself after fecal matter. That's pretty impressively smart, isn't it? If I'm Duty, I'm dying of laughter because, oh man, Phil is pissed. Well done on getting under his razor-thin skin. It's the ambition of all detractors. Anyway, so I'm thinking this person is probably trying to spoof my detractor. Maybe even give him like a raz, right? So I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know, this one even more than Nikita is probably questionable because now you can tell this is an account that just changed their name. They changed it purposefully to a detractor's name, right? But the thing was... The memberships went out, and people got them, and people had all the benefits. Here's what Phil could say next. So, the benefits are out. People are enjoying them. Now let's get back to news or games. End of podcast, go make content, and go get money. But something tells me Phil and his ego are not going to let that happen. It wasn't like these memberships went out and people were like, oh, what happened? They're fake. I can't use the emotes. I can't use... No, they all worked. Okay, so within three days, well, four day, a four day span, I got 500 gifted memberships on this channel, right? Okay, so as you know, the weekend happened and all of that. My day off happened last week and everything. And I come back to streams this week and I basically told you guys at the beginning of the week, it's weird that it's not recording any income for those gifted memberships. And now there's 500 of them and none of them are recorded as, as revenue. And I'm like, something definitely gives here, right? In the meantime, someone else came on these streams by the name of X Hooligan. And this person did a series of super chats as well as 50 gifted memberships. But this person started speaking in Spanish. And then we were using Google Translate to try to figure out what they were saying. Well, one of the things that they said, all right, was something like, um, oh, so I, I like your content, but I have to go poop. You mean like duty? You see what I mean? So basically, this guy is probably the same person. You're amazing. You figured this all out already. All right. But now they're pushing the envelope even further. Not only are they doing fake gifted memberships of some kind, but now they're actually trying to get attention on the streams as well by doing super chats and getting me to respond. You understand? And we won't be doing that here at DSP Gaming. No, no. We won't be paying duty or duty streams any attention whatsoever. We won't be discussing an intricate detail about what they did or how they did it, all while I'm visibly upset about it because, as I said, they're trying to get me to respond, but I'm too smart for them. So, at first, you know, I was responding positively to this stuff. Yes, Phil, you took the bait. It happens. All you have to say is, ah, you got me, and move on. But no, you can't do that, can you? But this person, after a couple days, kept doing these super chats in Spanish, and after a while, I started to see a pattern brewing, okay? And basically, after seeing that pattern, I kind of started to figure out what might have been going on. 
because there's something that happens here on YouTube that from to my knowledge is an exploit. I don't know if it's if it's actually like purposeful or legal. It seems to be an exploit. What is an exploit? An exploit means that someone has found a loophole in a system that should not exist and was not part of the original design of the system, yet they found a way to use it for personal gain or benefit. You are going to have a hard time selling that they paid me in different currency, which is where I'm guessing this is going, as meeting the criteria of personal gain or benefit. They gave you pennies. You came out on top. They are out pennies. You have received pennies. If you have any self-awareness, you'd see what you are doing right now is exactly what I and every other detractor want you to do. Okay? And you might say, exploit. Well, what's the exploit? All right? So here's what I'm to understand, and people can correct me on this because I only know of this from people telling me and through my research basically last night where I found out through someone contacting me and telling me, this always happens too, people contact me behind the scenes and they'll be like, Phil, just so you know, we found out what really is going on. For example, when I got kicked out of Twitch, the partner program two and a half years ago, now it's almost three years ago. At first, I had no clue what happened and Twitch wouldn't respond. And then someone behind the scenes contacted me and sent me all the information and said, here's literally the anti-DSP campaign that was sent to Twitch to make you look awful. Obviously, it's completely false and out of context. It was like it was like a compilation of my worst moments of like 15 years, right? So let me run down this thought process and make sure I understand. You did things in the past that at the time were OK, like the hello Jew joke. These horrible moments you elected to say or do were recorded by you. People took these videos to Twitch and said, this is who you have as a partner. Twitch said, hey, we don't want to be partners with you anymore. And after all that, you're the victim. You should be in the Olympics with the amount of mental gymnastics that you just performed. And they sent it to Twitch and said, basically Twitch had to basically get you out of the partner program because if they didn't and someone complained, then how would they pretend like they're woke? because of the stuff you've said over the years, right? So I'm like, wow. So basically I got punished for things I did like 10, 15 years ago because Twitch has gone fully woke and they don't want anyone who's ever said risque commentary on their site despite the fact I've been partnered with them for ages and they never had an issue with it before and I don't do it now. That's very interesting, okay? So Phil is anti-woke but supports OIC in her transition which is thought of as woke in this day. Anyway, wokeness aside, Here's where you could ask anyone else, what did you learn? And they would likely say something to the effect of, well, I need to stay away from borderline humor, especially on a platform that has so many eyes on it. But ask Phil that question and he'll say, I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct, legally, I, everything was right, and now I get fucked. So anyway, that's just one example. Um, so... Someone sent me information and said, we have seen that there's this person who is bragging stupidly on various forums about doing this to you. Last time I'm mentioning this because it's starting to get old for even me. Phil, they want you to know. They want you to do exactly this. So I and Atlas and Duty and Snort Hogan and Snort Burnell and Aqua Teal and Una Rachel will make fun of you. For God's sakes, just learn all right and what it is is this exploit is that what they do is they use a vpn if you don't know what that is it means it's an it's basically a way to make it look like you are in a certain region or country of the world even though you're not he's actually doing what is basically an advertisement for a vpn all he would have to do is throw a brand name in there like nord and boom 10 grand but no phil is above sponsors jesus christ today is a fucking gold mine it's a way to get around if like an IP address is blocked in your country, you can use a VPN to still access the IP address. It protects your identity in a way, okay? Oh my God, he just keeps going. So basically, what people have found is that there's particular countries where if you go to YouTube under that country, okay, that location, YouTube's pricing is completely wrong. It's not that the pricing is cheaper, it's that it's just fucking wrong. Now this man will show you his Tekken 3 trophy, but I'm doubting he's going to show you his diploma in world economics and exchange rates. Okay, 
Now, I don't know specifically what countries it is. One, I, I, apparently, one of them is a Spanish-speaking country. Okay, so if you log, so for example, right now, if you're in the United States and you want to become a member of DSP Gaming, it's three dollars and ninety-nine cents. That's the pricing that I'm able to control, and that's it. I don't control international pricing. YouTube does. So apparently, found a, people found a way to use a VPN to pretend like they live in another country, and when they do that it changes all the pricing of everything on YouTube. Completely wrong. It's not a correct rate. Like some people say, oh, it's exchange rates. No, it's not. It's an exploit. YouTube's pricing is fucked up for certain countries and it's not right. And my evidence for this is, trust me, bro, I've done the research. So basically what this person did is they used a VPN to log in as another country and they went and bought hundreds of memberships for like pennies. Right? So think about this. They bought 50 memberships, and if they did, the, if they did that in the United States, that would be like uh, $4 times 50. That's $200. They were able to get it for like 50 cents. And here's what he's implying. Everything about his body language, his tone, delivery, all of it says, and that's bad. The statement being made is, getting 200 memberships for 50 cents and distributing them to my followers is bad. Here's the question he doesn't want to be asked and will definitely never answer. Why is it bad? For you and me, we'd be able to say, my primary business model operates primarily off memberships and I have that price point set for this set budget. Phil can't do that for two reasons. One, he's already holier than thou Keemstar, Craig, and he's raised himself up on this huge platform of not being all about the money and wanting to do it for the community. And two, Phil has no idea where his money goes and has no set point in which members will fully meet the needs of his budget. Ergo the never-ending mountain I mentioned earlier. Because, the, because it's fucked up. It's completely broken. So they bought 200, 200, then they used another account, they bought 100, and now this EX Hooligan did it and did 50. 550 memberships purchased via a, an, a VPN exploit that should not exist and has incorrect pricing, and they bought 550 memberships for like $2. Don't worry, Phil, I'll finish your sentence for you. And that's bad because that means I don't get paid any more than $2. And as for this so-called fuck-up on YouTube's end, well, big ups to Twitter user in an otter place who sent me this. Now, if I'm reading this right, it basically says that the average salary in Argentina, which is where I'm guessing the money came from, is $55 per month or $660 per year. So a membership being a nickel in Argentina would have the same heft and weight at $399 would have here in the United States. It's not a conversion rate fuck up. It's an average salary calculation, you dumb fucking truck. What costs $3.99 here costs a nickel in Argentina. You went to college, for Christ's sake. Tell me I don't know how to read financial documents without telling me I don't know how to read financial documents. How would you know? Right? So, to confirm this, there's been super chats that have been coming in from people, and they look huge. For example, someone will do a super chat, and it'll be red, and red means it's the highest tier of super chat. Okay? And you're like, whoa, it's a red super chat. That means it's very valuable. He has no idea he's shitting on people in Argentina or other countries. Yes, it's red. It's very valuable in that country. Not everybody has the same gross domestic product as the United States of America. Not everybody has all the luxuries that we have. Sometimes, Phil, a nickel is worth more to them than you could ever fucking know. But when you actually currency convert it, from whatever this Spanish currency is that the Super Chat is, and you convert it to USD, it's like a dollar or less. So yeah, it's basically YouTube is fucked up. They have this glitch or, or exploit, a hole in the system where people are working around you know, where they live and buying things on YouTube insanely cheap. And apparently it's not just me. Apparently this has been going on for months. Like, people have been going to YouTube streamers and dropping hundreds of gifted memberships on their channels, and the people are like, oh my god, this is amazing. This could be, like, life-changing money for me. You just gave me $1,000, and then they make, like, 25 cents. 
go back to the seven minute mark, uh, six minutes, 58 seconds, I think it is. It's where I'm all giddy about Phil ripping the mask off. And that giddiness is gone because this is downright evil ignorance and double standards. Now, I'm not saying that people aren't trolling Phil. They are 100%. But I want to build a community, Phil says. I want everyone to feel welcome. Now, let's say for the sake of argument that this was an Argentinian who had just loved Phil to death and gifted everything he could and then some. The message here from Phil is, you're not good enough, you fucking peon. This is truly a new level of disgusting. And they're like, huh? I want you to think about how fucked up that is. Now, here's the thing. Me, it's not that huge of a deal. I'm not dependent on or expecting to get that kind of crazy income out of gifted memberships, right? But for someone else, imagine someone, like they're a small-time streamer, and they're sitting here, and they're live streaming, and someone comes on their stream and says, oh, I'm going to be like a, you know, uh, what do they call that? <clears throat> like a philanthropist? I'm just dropping on random YouTube streams today, and I'm helping people, Right? So here we go. I'm just going to gift gift you. And they gift 500 memberships to their community. And they're like, oh my God, I can't believe this is like life-changing money for me. And it doesn't count. They don't get it. They get a quarter, a nickel. What? What the fuck? Me talking to myself. Well, at least we've reached the low point. Phil. Oh, by the way, I'm not mad about this at all. Yeah, I'm white knighting for the little guys out there. Yeah, for me, everything is fine. I'm totally not a selfish asshole and concerned about the money. Basically, you might say, well, how is this allowed? It's not. It doesn't matter how much YouTube pretends like it is. It's not, because it's an exploit. The difference would be if this was correct. If this was a proper like currency conversion, then it would be correct. But it's not. It's not a proper currency conversion. It's an exploit. So in reality, when people do this, they're breaking the law. And YouTube, every time that they enable this, also is kind of breaking their own terms of service. Or not terms of service, excuse me. Their own partnership contract. Okay? I am going to need a theme song for Dark Side Karen here. Oh, and I can actually do this bit correctly. <clears throat> Yeah, YouTube, you need to watch out. Philip Burnell is here, and he went to law school in Oregon. And, oh, hold on a second. W what? No, no law school. No law school at all. Not in Oregon. Okay. Sorry, yeah. He went to law school in California, and that... Hold on. Not, not in California. Nowhere. So, he's just talking out his ass. Okay, never mind. Phil's just talking out his ass. If this becomes a huge thing on YouTube and this starts happening en masse to tons of YouTubers, that's a lawsuit against YouTube. And they're going to have a hard time defending themselves. They are, because this is a problem. This is a giant hole where people can just lie and buy things on the cheap and that affects people's businesses, right? Imagine if you were running a, a restaurant and someone walked into your restaurant and says, well, I have a coupon that says that I get everything on the menu for a nickel. Like, what the fuck is this? Hey, you got to honor the coupon. Tough shit. Right? No, that's bullshit. I'm not going to give you everything for free. What are you, out of your fucking mind? So I'm genuinely curious. When he learns or finds out about how much of a colossal piece of shit he's being in this moment, do you think he'll try to walk it back, defend himself, apologize, or what? Because this is... Wow. I think I'd rather be caught jerking it on stream than have a take quite as hot as this. But... You know, again, here's the problem with YouTube, like I already told you earlier. Talking to YouTube support, you might as well talk to the painting behind me. Because I will get a better response from the painting than talking to YouTube support. And I have an example of this, okay? About two years ago, I found that there was a huge bug on YouTube. I found it myself because I was clicking around and doing stuff. And, you know, I just, I was like, oh my God, this is a humongous liability for YouTube. If they don't fix this, this could break the site. So I contacted YouTube support and I gave them step-by-step -step instructions on how it works. I it was screen captures, everything. YouTube argued with me for two weeks that I was wrong. Two weeks. And I kept telling them, no, I'm not. Here's the evidence. I don't want to hear you give me a form letter. I don't want to hear this bullshit. This is a huge site exploit. You need to fix it. So after two weeks of me hammering them and saying it's real, give it to someone to review. YouTube support closed my conversation 
And I didn't hear from them again. And within one month, the fi it was fixed. They closed the problem. It fixed. They repaired it behind the scenes. Source and proof? Trust me, bro. This happened. Every other time, Phil wants evidence of everything from everyone. Hell, recently some guy said he visited Washington in his stream, and Phil demanded an itinerary from the guy. But here? Trust me, bro. Okay? So, it's not that YouTube doesn't fix these issues. It's that they drag their feet when they do, and they fight you. Because they actually think they're so smart that there's no way that they could possibly have an issue like this on the site. Like, no way, man. An exploit like that, there's no way that exists. We're smarter than that. We're all Ivy League trained. We're all professional brainiacs over here at Google. I mean, we, we fucking eat pomegrapples and slide down slides and do Pilates during one of our fucking classes during our workday. There's no possible way that we could have a problem with the site. You're out of your mind. I spent five solid minutes thinking of what to say here. That's how bad this went. He stunned me with dumbassery for five solid minutes. So let's go through what I've come up with. One, if you ever think you're this level of infallible, get a second, hell, even a third opinion, and always end the question or story with, what am I missing? Two, from what I understand, Pilates is hard. But even if it isn't, I personally don't know about it, so I'm not going to belittle it. Phil, you shouldn't either. Three, YouTube and all of its employees, they likely are smart. If you think you're so smart, Phil, or if you think you have an ounce of their brain power, why aren't you coding? Why aren't you directing or managing? And, and don't say because you're curating content because this is what you love to do. If you're going to talk mad levels of shit on people, you better be smarter than they are or have a way to back it up. But then come to find out every time people are right, and then they fix the problems behind the scenes, right? So this is definitely a problem right now. Now here's the thing, now I'm aware of it. And when I see people come in here and I see these super chats and things coming out, I'm just gonna ban these people on site and not even respond. So if you notice, you know, a super chat comes in and it's, you know, a foreign currency and it's someone saying something stupid, I'm just gonna ban and just move on with my day and ignore them, all right? now. I can't stop people from using a site exploit. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't make YouTube fix the fucking problem. All right. You would think that now that I've talked about this publicly, that it would become knowledge that people would want to fix. But again, no one listens to Dark Side Phil. To me, I'm no one, right? I'm nobody. I'm some, some idiot. There's no possible way that I could know anything about this or know anything important. So obviously, you know, me saying this, I might, again, I might as well be telling this story to this painting. Because the rest of the internet treats me like a dumb meme rather than a human who knows shit. Because I've been around the block for 15 fucking years. I know what I'm talking about. I might as well tell Mega Man about it. Maybe Mega Man will throw the shadow blade at YouTube and fix the problem, right? But... Look, I know I'm new on the scene, but uh, this is new levels of mask off, right? Like, this is a supercharged super ego of frustration coming out of the guy. He's going from lol cow to truly despicable. Like loathe worthy phil you know fuck all you know less than fuck all you've done nothing in the real world you've been sheltered for 15 years while people fucked with you remotely you are the definition of ignorant weakling and you should be ashamed of who you are and how you act you would definitely hope that someone would listen and try to fix this problem okay so if more fake stuff comes in there's nothing i can do about it all right but I can wholeheartedly tell you after investigating the situation, after having basically looked at forum posts and all the evidence, I have 550 fake memberships on the channel right now. They're not real. No one paid for them. You know, it's good that you guys have the benefits from them. That's amazing. But the problem is the whole point of this leaderboard down here is to show how I'm doing support wise on a stream. This video is truly remarkable. Every time thus far, I've thought, it can't get worse, it gets fucking worse. He's telling you that the board is to basically brag about what you've given him, and to make sure that the dents know if he's falling behind, they can step up support. Lol cow is gone. DSP is a loathe cow. Correct. And when you see 1147 memberships, what's the first thing that comes to mind? 
wow, that's a lot of members. Phil's doing really good for himself, right? That's not true. That's a misconception based on 550 memberships I'm not going to get paid for, okay? So that's not right because now what will happen is people will come by and look at that and say, wow, Phil's doing well off for himself. He's got tons of support. He doesn't need help today. I'll come back in a couple weeks maybe when things are slower and I'll help him then. And that's bullshit. <clears throat> I make my living on that. This is my main income down here. You understand? There's no behind the scenes agreements that I have with companies to pay me to shield their products. This is what I make my living on and that can hurt me concretely. <clears throat> All right? <clears throat> so. Oh my God. So he's going to lie. He has 1,147 members, but he's going to remove 550 of them so that way his income isn't hurt. I, I have no words for this. This is disgusting. Enough is enough. Right now, I'm fixing the fucking members total to be appropriate to what I really have. I have 550 fake memberships. So if you subtract 600, or excuse me, 500, you're at 647. And if you subtract the other 50, right, you're at 597. In reality, I currently have 597 members. That's the accurate number. And so what I would like to do today is get 610. Okay? <clears throat> Unless you're from Argentina. If you're from Argentina, fuck you. It's only fair that I properly adjust it so people actually know what I have. Because that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's not fair to you or me. How exactly is it not fair to your viewers, Phil? I'm confused because you just took 550 members off the board when 550 members have the ability to use emojis. I don't see that as a downside. To have people think that this community is doing so much better than it is because someone used a fucking exploit on YouTube that they need to fix on their end and I have no control over. All right? So there you go. Now, it is what it is. Now, listen, that's still a great amount of members. I'm not disappointed about that. And typically around this time of year, that's about the amount of members that I would actually have regardless. But the problem now is this month, my income is way down because there's no ad revenue to go around on YouTube at all. Like literally nothing. So ad revenue that I had over the last few months in the fall, I don't have. If you would like to support the streams, by all means, please do. And by the way, now that we've confirmed what was really going on, gifted memberships do help this channel. We know that now, as long as they're legit. And of course, King of Hate, Phil Burnell, has made himself the omnipotent decider of what is legitimate and what is not. So if he decides to tell you that a member bomb came from somewhere else, you have absolutely no way to prove otherwise. Phil truly is a cult leader. There was a bit more to the video. You can go to Snort Hogan's page if you're interested. It'll be linked in the description. And thank you sincerely for watching. I don't have a massive base of viewers, but every tick of the counter makes me smile because I get validation from strangers clicking on my shit. My god, I need more therapy. Anyway, again, big ups to In an Otter Place for the Argentinian information and everyone in the Snortex for inspiration, ideas, or what have you. Swole is the goal for a troll. Lift heavy, eat clean. And remember, he's a loath cow now.